Hello guys and welcome once again to my latest video. Today's video is gonna be a little more different compared to other videos that I have made in the past, you know, in, uh, related to gaming. Today's video is gonna be all about how to basically crack uh, old software, you know, from late 90s uh, that require a really simple DRM, uh, you know, DR DRM system. Uh, by today's standards, that's gonna be pretty obsolete. And today's DRM or ways to prevent, you know, piracy are uh, methods much more uh, delicate and more uh, specific uh, than, you know, than methods used in the late 90s, 99, early 2000s. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you just that. But before that, I'm gonna show you my latest acquisitions in terms of my collection. Uh, here you can see my, my collection of video cards. There are a couple of video cards there. Um, there you can see the, the NES Mini, the, the SNS, the Super Nintendo Mini. There you can see Batman, uh, the Cape Crusader for the DOS, um, some Wolfenstein box, and here are all my computer, my PC games. Uh, my collection that is growing pretty pretty fast. There you can see Rise of the Triad scene and different games. And here a couple more games: Heavy Metal, Amazing Spider-Man for the DOS, and a couple more shits. There you can see my computer that I recently uh, assembled. Uh, it's a computer that I actually made aimed for retro gaming. It has components, you know, the, the, the computer, the build is actually, you know, you could say that it's from the 2002 era. So it's a very interesting computer with Pentium D. And here you can see a really vintage, vintage uh, build. It's not a build because it's just the motherboard and the RAM and the video card. But it's actually very interesting because it has the Voodoo 2 cards in the sleeve, the slide, whatever you call it. So it's pretty interesting. So now let's go with the project, let's go with the tutorial. So here we got our two computers. In one computer, let's say you have the program installed. Here you can see we got the image, so uh, the, the, the program is running really well. In this case, I'm gonna teach you how to do it in Ultra Image, which is a program, you know, from late 90s. Here you can see 99, 2001. That is mainly aimed for, you know, photo picture editing for medical purposes you know as you may know I'm a medic I'm plastic I'm in the in, in the way of becoming a plastic surgeon so uh, this program I use very frequently even though it's kind of outdated you know nowadays it could be replaced with Photoshop but Alter Image is a very simple interface uh, interface and it's pretty cool to use because it's very simple you don't have a lot of shits to deal with and I'm already used to that. So, um, as you can see, in this computer it's already installed, no problems whatsoever. So, let's see that, let's just imagine that you wanna just transfer this program to another computer. So, essentially, the first thing you wanna try at first is obviously go to the, to the, to the you know, to the place where the, where the program is installed, in this case it's in here, and copy all the files from the root folder of the program. And it's very simple. Anyone, if everybody can could do it. Just copy all the crap and pass it in the other computer. And that's what I actually did. And let's see if the program uh, launches in the other computer just by copying the files. So the first glance, when you execute the alter image executable, you will have an, uh, a little Windows say installation problem. Please reinstall our alter image. So there's obviously something missing here, and we're gonna figure out what what it, what is that? It's fucking missing. So um, this is a pretty cool method, very simple. And if you think about it, a couple of minutes you will find it out as well. But it's I, I got kind of you know um, creative, if you want to call it same way. Um, I just decided to see if there was something, um, you know, saved into Regulate. So you're gonna go to the start and you're gonna type run or just execute the run command and type regedit. 
So once you type that, you want to go to the, you want to know uh, the, you know, the developer of the program. In this case, it's Seattle Software. So we're going to go first to HK Current User. I'm going to go to Software and search for the program developer, which is, in this case, software, uh, Seattle Software Design. So here you will see Alter Image, the same name as our software that, that we are uh, trying to crack. So here you're going to select it and export it. And you want to save it somewhere in your computer. Uh, in my case, I just save it as alter.reg. So we want to save that. And let's go to another step here. We're going to go to HK Local Machine. We're going to go to Software. And we're going to go as well to Seattle Software Design. Just uh, We're going to go to here, Seattle. Just uh, select this crap and just export it. Uh, so once you've done that uh, and you save those two files here, um, you want to export these two files to the other computer. Alright, sorry about that. So once you just transfer those two rec files, you want to execute both of them. You know, first I'm going to go execute one and type, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And then the other one, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay. So now let's see if the program works. And as you can see, the program works perfectly well. So, this was a little tutorial about basic hacking. It's not hacking, it's just a little stupid tutorial how to crack sh stuff that was not very well protected. So, um, let me know guys if you liked the video and stay tuned for future videos. Please make sure to subscribe for more content and see you next time. Bye!